Hi everyone. It's been a crazy morning, been having technical issues, but hopefully I can get this makeover end and in and we can have a little fun doing it. So today I have my khakis on because I feel like I'm in battle today. I'm not in battle with anybody, it's just the whole morning has gone crazy. So, I'm going to do some makeup, change into something different, and make this day a little smoother. First of all, I'm going to do my eye primer. I need all the primer help I can get today. Everything is dry the that I mean we were having good rain and all of a sudden it's dry with a little breeze which is making the air totally dried out um Touching up a couple of places with eye primer. Eye primer is good. You can use it as concealer. Um, it works both ways. All our products just about are multi-purpose, which is one, one thing I like. So I'm going to start with a pretty green color. And I really want to do a light eye today, so I'm going to see if I know how to do that. Because usually I get carried away with the, with the color. But maybe I'll be able to do it. This is not looking very green on my eye, but it is green. Maybe it's going to fit right in with the morning with the technical difficulties and <laughs> not work. It's crazy. But we'll get it to work. Just putting this light green color all over the lid. Remember if you have crepey eyelids just to stipple your color on. And I'm going to take a brown color and I'm going to go over the top of that and just kind of work that around the outside edge. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to fluff this all together just to kind of give a little more cover to the eye Just want to kind of blend these lightly. 
which when I'm putting on eyeshadow or working on my eyes, I don't know what lightly is. I love eyeshadow, so I have the tendency to go darker, but you can do all these looks lighter. I do it darker one reason, because that's the way I am. But another reason is for you to see it on the camera, it's better if I do a darker coverage. But you don't have to do it this dark. You do it as light as you want to, but you can still see the colors are very pretty. Um, this green is real pretty. And I'm going to accent in here with the green. Which you can accent with any color you want to. Usually I, you know, you would use probably a lighter color. But I'm using this green color. It's called Galaxy. Just trying to make more light right there in the inner corner of the eye. But I'm going to, my nose is itching me like crazy. But I'm, I want to leave the, the brown color mixed in with the green because I think it looks very pretty. I want to put a third color on here so bad, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to brighten this up right here a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take a, this clean brush here and Fluff a little light up here. Okay, now next, I'm going to do some eyebrow mascara. Love this stuff. I like to get the eyebrows combed out so they're not crazy everywhere. And they will stay, however you put them up there, they will stay all day. Till you wash them off. I love that. And it's a little tiny brush like this it's real easy to use and it's in a container like mascara but it's it's mascara for the brow issue on one eye that I need to fix the eye color Put too much dark right here yeah. okay let's put some mascara on and see what we have I've got the Zen Mascara today. This applicator is like little combs. It combs the eyelashes right up.
I'm kind of overdoing this and I don't know why. I'm like just doing it. I need to look and see what I've done a little bit closer here. enough. The eye is darker than I really wanted it, so I'm going to go over it with this. I'm going to see if this will brighten it up a little. This green is really pretty. And when you turn, you can see that it's sparklier than the other. Well, not really sparkle, just a little color to it. All right, let's go on to some foundation today. I think I'm going to use I think I'm going to use the Stay Matte Mineral Foundation. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm going to shake it up a little. blends very well. All of our foundations, it's, it's just a matter of what you prefer. If you like a matte look or more of a uh, shinier look. Shiny is not the word I'm trying to think of. more of a creamy look or we have something for for everybody all of our products have safe ingredients been around for 72 years so there has to be something good that we're doing but really I mean our products are awesome you have to try something and I mean we have all kinds of foundations and if you go on my website, you can see everything we have. You can text me or message me, however you, you want to do it. Call me. Ask questions. I'll be glad to answer anything. Okay, and today I'm sticking with the Peach Blossom Blush. I love this color. It's really pretty. Take your blush up. And I put my blush on lighter because it always turns darker on my skin once it kind of blend, kind of sets on everything and warms up to the skin. 
it will turn darker. And I want to lighten this eye up some more. This is not looking too good here. Let's see what I can do with it. dark right in this corner and I don't like that. It's making everything look dark. I'm going to go right up this side here with this concealer and what I'm doing is pulling that color up so it makes the eye look more lifted. This side doesn't need it as much. I think it turned out to be a pretty eye, actually. Okay, let's get some lip color here. Since I'm all in camo, I guess I need to wear something I think we'll wear hot Tahiti. This hot Tahiti is a pretty color, and it definitely goes with the green and everything. I want to do a little contouring on my nose right here. When you contour just lightly, you don't have to take it all off, just lightly. Contour, make, you can make your nose look bigger, smaller, thinner, longer, however you want to do it. I just want to take a little bit off right there. Now, I could contour all over to, today, but I'm not going to. This is the look for today. I hope you like the green and brown. Um, that's from the Wonderlust palette. I use this green and this brown. They're beautiful colors. All the colors are beautiful. Um, the palette's got golds, peaches, greens, browns, lilac, uh, aqua color, uh, 
all colors of browns, a pumpkin color, gold, a gray. It's got a variety of colors that you could use, and you can make them as dark or light as you want to. I always tend to go darker because I like the darker colors. But you can put them on light, however you want it. But it's a great palette if you're interested. It's called the Wonderlust Palette. And we have a new, another new palette coming out that's going to have a lot of bright colors. So uh, we'll be posting all that later on today. So this is a look today. Have a great evening. Start your weekend. This is Friday. And we'll see you later. Bye.